Today we're going to discuss what really happened with the semi-truck driver or we're going to look into what happened with the semi-truck driver that killed this cop, I believe it's in Utah. And um, I want to know what exactly happened. So let's 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 break this down today. I thank everybody who subbed to the new regime and subbed to this channel. Thanks for everybody who came over to the Rumble. That's TB Uncut. Make sure you hit the like button and share. 911 call when to when the suspect was actually captured about five hours later in Vernal. Take a look. 545 Sunday morning, UHP dispatch received a 911 call from a driver reporting a person standing on the back of a semi trailer near mile marker 207 on northbound I-15. A trooper responds and Sergeant Billy Hoosier from the Santa Quinn Police Department is asked to assist. Both the trooper and the officer make contact with the driver of the semi-truck. At some point during the stop, the semi-driver, 42-year-old Michael Aaron Jane, makes a U-turn and is accused of targeting the two law enforcement officers. Intentionally hitting both vehicles. He also struck the Santa Quinn officer, causing fatal injuries. Lieutenant Corey Slaymaker says Jane took off running to a nearby convenience store where he stole another semi-truck. He Okay, this, 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 I don't, I don't think this is a driver. I don't think this is a trucker. This dude's just, he's just on some vigilante, you know, just some criminal type stuff. He's just stealing people's stuff. Like, I thought this was like a working driver that just snapped or something like that. But obviously that, that is not what this is. I think this dude is just, you know, he's just straight up nuts. He's accused of then stealing a Ford pickup truck. An attempt oh. to locate was broadcast statewide in an attempt to locate that vehicle. As that statewide alert is sent out, the Ford is located in Mount Pleasant, where Jane is accused of then stealing a third vehicle. Jeez. That vehicle was then located in Vernal around 1119. Fled from troopers at an extremely high speeds and, cra and the vehicle crashed. The suspect was taken into custody and transported to a local area hospital. Lieutenant Corey Slaymaker says investigators are still, uh, their investigation is still happening at each one of those locations where Jane stole and crashed one of those vehicles. At last check, he was still in custody in the hospital. My yeah, this dude is, this dude is a, um, he's just a, you know, a world-class F up and cop killer and he's screwed, so. He's not he's not a trucker. I don't know. I don't I don't know what's going on with that. He must just be some I mean, they did not specify because they said semi truck driver. I thought that he was, you know, a trucker, but it doesn't seem it doesn't sound that way. At least they're not specifying who he worked for. They didn't say they called the company or anything like that. That lets me know he, he was just stealing shit and trying to get away and hot boy and kill him and killed some people. So, you know, screw that guy. He needs to go. He needs to be out of here. But it was not a trucker. I was very interested to see what happened to make a trucker just go off on some, you know. It has happened before, though. So it is. It is. It has happened before. But I don't know what the hell's going on with this guy. I hope more stuff will come out. So before I even, you know, say anything more, I just hope all the families are fine and um, uh, are they're getting some help and getting support from the community. And that guy needs to go away. It's just that simple. Hello, Trucker Brown here. I'm so happy that you are here on Rumble TV Uncut. We are up to 350 followers. I appreciate every person that decided to come over and follow. Why go to Rumble? Well, in Rumble, you will get 100% of your no notification. You won't get this, oh, I didn't get your notification, TV. I didn't know you were live, TV. Over there, you get 100% of it. You actually get two notifications over there. Also, over there, we can say what we want. We can speak freely because the Rumble platform really pushes freedom of speech. Don't do drugs. Be happy. Follow me, Trucker Brown, over there on Rumble.